Hey guys, it's Phantoms Access Center here, back again with another Phantoms Access Center hit video. I know it's been a long time, like a month literally, since I have uploaded, and the last video I did was a Josh Tub video X listener. Today I bring you a Rise Casey Jones video comfort version because I did a little vote after my live stream and Casey won. Then after, I'm doing Henry Emily in an hour because, you know, I gotta get my voice all practiced and take a sip of this tea. <clears throat> Tonight I have tea with me, not coffee. Sadly, I just didn't want to make coffee. I was a little lazy. But I hope you guys enjoy. And my Instagram Discord link server, um, <laughs> wet pad soundcloud and the songs that i use will be in the description below i'll see you guys in the video bye i found the cutest and the most perfect image for this video take a sip of this tea and let's get straight to it you haven't been visiting the turtles lately not because casey has been there not even to replace you even though you thought to yourself that Casey was there just to, you know, replace you and do things that you weren't good at, that he could do better than you. But you also had other things on your mind, like school, making your parents proud, and etc. <sighs> There's just been a lot on your mind, and you haven't been visiting the turtles lately. And the first one to notice was Casey himself. Okay, guys. <clears throat> if I sound like I'm breathing heavily, it's because it takes a lot of air to whisper, and it sucks, okay? <clears throat> so, here goes nothing. I hope you guys like it. I haven't done any voices like in so long. Your T phone was blasting with messages, but sadly, you had turned its notifications off. So it was your phone. April, Cassandra, Casey, some of the turtles had your phone number, like Leo and Donnie. Mikey was soon to get your phone number once you, he's earned his phone back from Master Splinter. Last time, he's almost dropped it. Anyways, you were home studying. Fluffball came up to you. Yeah, I think I remember he gave the little cat its name, like Fluffball. That's the official cat's name. Fluffball came up to you, rubbing his head against your arm. He gave him a few head rubs and said, What's up, Fluffball? Need anything? You hungry? You picked him up and put him near his bowl before he declined the offer and rubbed his head against your leg. Hmm, okay. I guess you just want attention, little buddy. You picked him up and started giving him a few smooches and a few like scratches behind the ears before hearing your doorbell ring. You wondered who it was besides April because sometimes she would come over to check up on football and you and maybe give you a few things. You put Fluffball down on the couch and went over to open the door. Surprisingly, it was Casey himself. He waved and had two coffees in his hand. He didn't really know which was your favorite, so he got the advice from Maple. He smiled at you and said, Okay, I'm sorry if I can't do a really good Casey voice. You know, it's been a long time, my friends. <clears throat> Hey, listener, um, I got you coffee. I hope you like it. April told me your favorite. Um, can we talk? If that's okay with you. Alright, thank you. Um, you two both sat down on the couch, fluffball hopping over to Casey's lap. Um, look. I know things may be difficult with you right now, but 
what's been going on, like in general, mentally and physically? He looked down at your wrists to see if you were doing anything, then looked back up at you, tilting his head, having a small worried look on his face. He said, Nothing really, it, everything's fine, just lots of school and stress, you know? He sighed. You shouldn't be overworking yourself, it's not good for your health. You know you should always take breaks, even if they're the smallest ones. But, you know you should be eating and drinking too, right? Just checking. You chuckled and said, <laughs> yeah, I've been eating and drinking, no need to worry about that. Take a sip of this tea. Oh, thank goodness. Well, um, look, if you need anything, you have both of your hands. I'm always here. You can always open up to me. I know, I know. We may have... Uh, known each other for a little bit, but <laughs> you can't forget one thing. He got out his phone and scrolled through a few pictures of you two, which I technically forgot that you two were already dating, you two are in a poly relationship. <sighs> you can't forget my little Sakura. <sighs> it's almost our anniversary. He booped your nose. Boop. <laughs> Alright, listener. This is serious now. He tried to keep a serious look on his face, like a straight face. Open up to me. Okay? I'm listening. Let it all out. Take a few deep breaths before you do. You took a few deep breaths, held his hands, and, you know, started to vent about what was happening he said well first of all we got me always trying to make my parents proud and stuff like that sometimes they come over and you know rant about all the things that i should be doing with my life or maybe they even argue in front of me which is just really sad and stressful like they could have argued at home or somewhere else why my house? Or apartment. <clears throat> Take a sip of this tea. He nodded. And also, school's been really stressful. April has noticed. Sometimes she's even brought my attention. Um, that I've been overworking a lot in school. I've been finishing tests early. Not that that's a problem, of course, but I've been doing a lot of things more quicker than I used to. And just, you know, taking lots of work home, like packages upon packages of work. And getting it done overnight, not getting any sleep, and turning it in to school and repeating the cycle. Mm-hmm. I know there's something more in there, little Sakura. You're just not opening up fully. I mean, you don't have to, but the feeling I'm getting that you're hiding something. Something truthful. I mean, of course you're being truthful with me right now, but something you're worried will hurt someone. He tilted his head. You were shook. Your eyes widened and you were like, how does he know? Well... You are correct. Um, I don't even know if I should be saying this. Well, um, Case, I've been jealous of you. His eyes widened and he was going to speak, but then he stopped. Not that he was going to complain or anything, but he was just shook. Your skills, your everything, everything you can do that I can't. You're like special and you're better than me. That's why I haven't been showing up at the lair or hanging out with you guys. He immediately hugged you. 
mi amor you don't have to be like this just because i can do things that you can't doesn't mean i'm better than you you playfully rolled your eyes and said technically he ro rose your chin up closer to him and said listener i can teach you some of the things i know even my mom can because she was the one that taught me these things in the future anyway also master leonardo or should i just say leo <laughs> look i'm sorry you were feeling this way you should have told me this earlier but of course you had fear and you were scared to tell me he gave you a smooch on the forehead well come on let's go to the lair everybody down there misses you master splinter leo tawny etc even april misses you i miss you he gave you a little smooch on the nose come on let's stop by your coffee shop and let's get something for everybody okay <laughs> he gave you a soft smile <coughs> Is it just me? Or this artist, I forgot their name. How they draw Casey looks like Eddie VR. Just hear me out. Anyways, after you guys got everyone's coffees, since it was kind of like autumn, fall, spring, I guess. Open spring, fall ish. You went down to the lair. You were super embarrassed, but you tried to keep your act up. Once you walked in after Casey, everybody pounced on you, giving you hugs and smooches, telling you how much they missed you. You realized you weren't worthless or just some side friend, let's say. You were everything to them. You could even see the tears in Mikey's eyes by how much she missed you. Leo, of course, being the lovey dovey one and giving you smooches all over your face. Tony gave you a smooch on the nose, giving you a tight and big bear hug. The biggest bear hug you got was from Wrath himself. Master, Master Spinta came over and gave you a small bow, giving you like a small handshake and maybe a head pat. You guys got talking and you told them everything that was happening and maybe everything that you told Casey and they told them um, I mean and they told you the same thing that you weren't you know no side friend or worthless you were everything to them and they loved you for who you are and that you should always stick around and that's all for today, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. We're very close to 5k. Um, my Instagram, Discord link server, Wattpad, SoundCloud, and the songs that I use will be in the description below. I, this video was probably very quick, probably because I want to get over with the Henry Emily one and get back on Discord and tell everyone, oh, I was recording and I'm so sorry. Take a sip of this tea. And I hope I can maybe upload next week or who knows, even next month. I just hope I can be here with you guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!